Hi, my name is Isabella Perez. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Hi, my name is Emmanuel. I'm from Switzerland. My name is Diego Esteves. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm from Miami. Hi, my name is Nosin Hasuri. I'm from the Dominican Republic. I've been part of the CCHS community for one year and I'm in 10th grade. I am in now 10th grade and I've been here since 7th grade. I've been in CCHS since 2007 when it opened. I'm a natural actor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently in grade 11. I've been here since 6th grade, that's when the school started. I'm right now in 10th grade, but I've been here in the school since 6th grade and since it started. It's a really big school, it's a big campus. It's a huge campus. Half of the school is in plain air, and then there's always sunshine. Plus, you're close to the beach. That's awesome. And who doesn't like living in the Caribbean? You want to be here every single day. The people here are really nice. They're welcoming. They're always cheerful. We really know everybody really close. We're, we have a lot of close friends. It's, it's a very fun place to be in. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, then where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? A day at CCHS, it's, it's really, really fun. You go to every one of your class and you have the, the awesome electives. Which I like a lot. You can go swimming, arts, drama, and music. My favorite elective is leadership because it makes the students get really, really involved in the school, not like in other, not like in other schools. Because here we get to plan events, we get to, and now what we're doing is we're getting some interviews with people to get to know how to be better leaders in our society. I've been in about five schools, but the one thing that I really appreciate in CCHS is that the moment I came in, everybody accepted me, including me, in everything. I really, really like the teachers. They're very fun. And since they're young, we can connect more with them. My teacher, my leadership teacher, one time I had this like huge breakdown because people were bothering me. And I remember he told me that I was stronger than what I thought I was. And that really makes me now be who I, who I am. And you know, it builds me up as a person. And I really think that not a lot of schools, you get to be yourself because of the amount of people and because of the insecurity between if you want to talk to a teacher, if you feel comfortable being yourself because of others judging you. But I feel that when I got here and I left the city and I have these young teachers who I feel comfortable, you know, expressing myself, talking to, crying to, that really opened me up and it made me the person who I am today. We have a very accepting community and I can assure you that Capcana Heritage School will be a rewarding learning experience for both you and us students. Hi, I'm Michelle Posny. I'm from Florida. I've been teaching at CCHS since 2007. I'm Amber Geschwind. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Uh, my name is Jorge Ruiz. Um, I am from the Dominican Republic. My name is Ashley White. I am from Grand Ledge, Michigan. Um, my name is Lauren. I've been teaching at Capcana Heritage School for two years and I'm from Florida. My name is Damon Kingsbury. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Go Tar Heels. Hi, my name is Lucy Lesnichalk. I'm from France. I'm head of the ESOL department. I teach ESOL, which stands for English for Speakers of Other Languages. And this is my first year teaching at CCHS. My department basically works with all students uh, and language learners that are adopting English and Spanish as another language. I teach high school mathematics. I've been teaching here at CCHS for three years. I am the social sciences teacher. This is my first year at Cap Cana Heritage School, my second in Dominican Republic, and I am a first grade teacher. I teach fifth grade here at uh, Cap Cana Heritage School. Hi, I'm Cheryl Ann Weeks. I'm the school counselor here at Cap Cana Heritage School, and I this is my second year here. And I'm, I've been here for five years here in Cap Cana Heritage School, and I'm a French teacher. 
I moved to Santo Domingo last year. I um, was a teacher out there, taught third grade, and I loved the country. I wasn't ready to give it up yet. I loved the Caribbean lifestyle, but um, Santo Domingo was a little bit intense for me. I needed more of a beach feel, and I had come to Punta Cana a few times last year, and I heard about this school, and once I started learning more about it and investigating more, I realized this is where I had to be. It was like my dream school, and so I um, went full throttle for it, and here I am. Um, uh, to be quite honest, the first time I was coming here, I didn't really want to come. Uh, it, my wife was already working here, and she always wanted me to come here. So I came primarily because my wife was already here. Now, once I got here, I have to say, the first week of work, I said, wow, this is not what I was expecting. This is just completely different. I was automatically in tune with my colleagues. Uh, my principal and I got beautifully along. It was just wonderful, the, the, the chemistry that we had with each other. Um, our director was always there was constantly talking to us, asking us how things were. It just became this automatic feel of this This is perfect. This is, this is where I belong. So I came here in April, the year before I took the job, to check out the school, to see what the area was like. And I loved it. It's very relaxed here. Um, I think my doubts included, I went to the website and it seemed so different than it is now. It was kind of professionally done, really glossy, it didn't seem real. So my main concern was what was the school going to be like versus what it looked like on the website because the website seemed really unrealistic. When I heard that I was offered the job at first it was kind of like panic, like, oh my god do I really want to do this, am I really going to move to Dominican Republic? And then I just realized that if I didn't do it, I was I would always regret it. I would always wonder what would have happened if I would have gone. So, decided to walk to the school, came into the school, was pleasantly surprised because it did look like what it looked like on the website. When I first got here, uh, it was late at night. I was kind of, I was scared at first, but then after I finally got uh, here and got settled, um, I was so comfortable with the people that work here. Um, everybody helped me get settled in. Um, when we first got here, there's they do a little bit of um, new teacher orientation. They teach you, well they taught me how to use um, N-Grade, which is our online grading system. Um, they taught us some of the procedures that you need to know in order to make photocopies, do that kind of stuff at school. Um, things like if you don't have a car, how do you get to the grocery store? Um, little things like that, that maybe you wouldn't need to know in the States, but or wherever you're from. Um, but being down here in a different environment, they kind of walk you through those, those sorts of daily life activities that you might not know how to navigate on your own. One of my biggest concerns with coming here was I do not speak any Spanish and I was moving to a Spanish-speaking country. So when I first got off the airplane and heard a lot of Spanish, I was nervous that maybe I wasn't going to fit in, but as soon as I arrived, my boss was holding a sign that said Amber Gishwind. I went with her and as soon as I got here, everyone was speaking English to me and they would help me out at the grocery store. And I actually found that in this area, everyone speaks a little bit of English. At first it was, it was kind of hard with the language thing, with you know communicating with different people, but everyone here wants to help you. Everybody wants to help. So they've developed an after school Spanish class for us that have no Spanish experience. And being in a Spanish-speaking country, I've been able to try it out at restaurants, ordering my food in Spanish, at the grocery store, asking where things are in Spanish, and I've been picking up the language pretty quickly. When I first got here, I didn't know Spanish, but now that I've been here, I've learned a lot of Spanish. But you should rest assured that learning another language like Spanish will come very easily. One, you're surrounded by it. Two, you'll be provided with the lessons necessary. Because I am a first year teacher, I was a little nervous that I wouldn't know what to do the day that the students arrived. But our school had professional development the weeks leading up to the first day of school. And during professional development, they helped us set our goals to meet the standards for our students. And they also assign each teacher a mentor. So my mentor has been going through this whole process with me. And when I'm stuck, I always have someone that I can bounce ideas off of. Um, the teaching community here is great. I have a wonderful partner. They, um, it's a very collaborative 
environment here. They are very encouraging. You know, everyone is excited about new ideas. They're, um, they help you to create it and build it to be something even greater than what you imagine. Um, I love the teamwork that I find here, and I think everyone's very supportive. Uh, one of the things we always said was, I wish I could speak to the other teachers and build some sort of giant project. I wish we could talk to each other. Um, I have a doubt about my lesson plan. Um, I don't know how to deal with this certain kid, with this parent. And what we created here was teaching communities. So our whole school is divided up into these little clusters of teaching communities. And we meet every two weeks. And we basically talk about our plans, uh, the activities, um, the students. Our building is very close to campus, so I can walk to school every day. And there's also, it's maybe a five minute drive from the beach, so on weekends we can go to the beach, or if you have a stressful day at school, you can just find a ride to the beach, it's wonderful. Coming from Santo Domingo, everyone was telling me, oh, you're going to be bored in Punta Cana, there's not much to do, it's just the beach and everything, and I have just not found that to be true at all. I'm very much a laid back kind of girl, so when a weekend can include going to the beach and going to going on a boat trip and snorkeling with sharks and stingrays, you know, it's a pretty good weekend for me, so. I'm a very outdoors person, so um, I love the beach, of course. Um, I love uh, going uh, going on boats. I love going uh, snorkeling, scuba diving. I love uh, swimming with the sharks and stingray, uh, rock climbing. Uh, they also have zip line out here, which I'm excited to uh, try out. After school, there's always an activity to do. They have done dance classes, merengue, bachata, and salsa to do and even perform if we want to. On weekends, we also can go out dancing and practice any dance skills we've learned during the week. We've also done some organized after school sports. So we've done ultimate frisbee, flag football, basketball, volleyball. Oh my goodness, the facilities here are just amazing. Walking in here, you see the main plaza, and it's just it just like takes your breath away. And then walking through the halls with the ivy and everything, it's just it you can't even believe that it's a school. I have an amazing classroom, um, great resources here, and it's everything you would find in the states and more. Overall, Cap County Heritage School is a great place to work. Overall, as a teacher, um, you have um, tremendous planning time. You have, you know, a lot of teachers worry about planning time. You have great administrators here. Um, it's a great life out here, you know, real basic and, you know, life for you, but you can enjoy a lot of things out here. So it's a great place to be.